All right, this will be a little bit of a fun part of the podcast. It's just interesting to me. And, and again, we we really have kind of nailed down who the target market is. Um, but I kind of want to know how four strangers live together and maybe some of the things that y'all have seen probably. It's like a farmer's insurance commercial that you've seen everything. <laughs> um, um, all right. I come to you. I want to lease a space. Do I know who the other roommates are? Do Is there like a match fit? Like, how do I know that I'm going into a place that I can be comfortable with strangers? Yeah, totally. So uh, we made what was back in 2015 when we started the business, a fairly controversial view, which is you are effectively renting a room. You do not have an ability to vet your roommates. If you don't like your roommates, you can transfer Mm -hmm. to another room. But one of the reasons we provide shared kitchen and bathroom supplies, we do weekly cleaning of the common areas within the units, we furnish everything, is to limit the surface area of roommate conflict. So that's kind of the first line of defense. It's just less to fight about. (laughs) Because, you know, you're not fighting about cleanliness, you're not fighting about um, you know, whose who's couch is it anyway? You're not fighting about splitting the bills. We'll, we do that for you. So there's just less, there's less surface area of conflict. Um, you know, if you really don't get along with the people you are there with, uh, you can transfer. And, you know, we make that easy and straightforward and existing members have preference over units that open up or, you know, units in new buildings we're leasing or, 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 or what have you. Um, so we do have that have escape valve, which, which, which helps a lot, but there's, there's no matching because if you're doing this right, you're 96 to 98% occupied at all times. You don't have a lot of availability and you're not going to hold a room open. You're not going to hold a room vacant because you're looking for a certain match. And so we thought about this from the perspective of a, of a stabilized building and said, uh, you know, this is, this is going to get crazy if, you know, we have the artist suite over here and the hacker suite over here and, you know, the night owls over here and the morning bird, you know, it's, 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 it's going to get, it's going to get nuts. We're going to drive ourselves crazy and we're going to drive vacancy up and we're probably making fair housing violations out of it while we're at it. Yeah. So we said, no, we solve it on the back end, not on the front end. And that was that was that was the right call and has 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 served us well. But I'm not gonna lie, our, our our job as a property manager is probably ten times harder than the job of a typical property manager. Um and it's not it's not the median case, it's not the ninetieth percentile case, it's the ninety ninth percentile case. It takes really a lot of time. that that takes that that really where you're 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 getting the brain damage and not to take a fun part of the podcast and make it not fun. Um, but, you know, when you're talking about, you know, mental illness, drug addiction, things like that, that's where, that's where the, you know, it really hits the fan um, and where this really gets hard. It's not, it, it has nothing to do with like, oh, these four people just don't get along. Uh, you know, that's, that's, that's easy to fix. Um, it's the, it's the long tail hard cases um, that really, really make things challenging for the team. We, we do as much screening as we, uh, as we are able to do. Uh, and you know, we, I don't want to say we, 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 we push the boundaries, but we believe we have a strong case of being able to do 
full criminal background checks everywhere, including county level records, um, you know, full history and everything we're able to pull um, and be pretty liberal about turning people away uh, because people are sharing space. Um, and, you know, we believe we have a strong case for being able to do that. Yeah, it's we do consider our, our our members. They are adults. We treat them as adults. We do exactly that. That we say, hey, here's here's our general guidelines. Here's kind of you know code of conduct. How we think about being a good roommate. Uh, but you know, we're not your RA. That's not our job. Um, you know, that said, things do get escalated to us. Obviously, anything that touches safety that becomes our business. Um, harassment uh becomes our business um and you know if someone is unwell uh for various reasons i don't mean unwell like they got a cold uh you know that unfortunately becomes our business um and so you know it does magnify uh, a lot of the challenges that you face as a property manager um when you are getting involved within a unit which you know avoid in most cases uh but in some cases certainly we do uh we do have to get involved i would say you know across our we have 75 today with 75 buildings under management around 7000 units um you know at any given time there's a dozen escalated cases across common of places where we are getting involved uh in some respect within the unit whether that's uh you know an eviction whether that's you know um a member uh that is, you know, really not being a good sweet mate to the point that we've had to get involved. So it's not overwhelming, but those 12 cases do take a lot of time and we have a dedicated team within common that handles them. <laughs> 